Mathematics for economics course will start from what are functions? Why are we dealing with functions in this course? Because most of the economic phenomena that will be discussed in terms of functions. You have utility function, you have production functions, um, you have labor supply function, labor demand function, aggregate supply function, aggregate demand function. So most of these functions Okay, now what constitute a function? What exactly is a function? So before than that, uh, let us just quickly talk about what exactly is a set. A set is a collection of items. It is a collection of items. Now these items could be anything. These items could be collection of numbers. It could be collection of name of names of all students in a particular class. It could be collection of uh, different. Um, what should I say? The the name of the persons uh, were the prime ministers of India historically. Now all of this it could be collection of items, um, and each item in a set is called an element of that set. Each item in that set is called the element in that set. Uh, and uh, a function is a relation that relates that relates elements of one set elements of one set to the single element of other set to the single element of other set. This earlier set is basically domain of the function and this is the range. What exactly are these? We'll let I'll let you know in some time. Uh, for example, a set could be something like this. Okay, that is one, two, three, four, five, and so on. So this is what this is a set of natural numbers. set of natural numbers other is 1 4 9 16 25 and so on this could be this this is the set of perfect squares of natural numbers Okay, so a function, say for example, this is the set A and this is the set B. Hmm? And a function is a relation that relates element of set A to the single element of set B. Okay, so for example, the function is say y is equal to x square. I pick up the elements from A. I square them and I get these elements here. So when I pick up one from A, I square that and I get one here. I pick up two from A, I get four. I pick up three from A, I get nine in B. I get I pick up four from A, I get 16 here. I get five from A, I get 25 here and so on. So this is the function. Uh, the, so the function is the relation that relates element of one set, which is the domain of the set, to a single element of the end of the set, which is the range of the set. Okay, and uh, this is called generally as well. This could also be written as f x. Okay, x takes up this form, and this is called dependent variable. It is dependent variable 
and this is called the independent variable hmm. so dependent variable because it depends on the value of x here see for example in case if x is has the value of 1 if x is equal to 1 then y would be equal to 1 if x is equal to 2 then y is equal to 4 it just depends on y depends on the value of x that's the reason it is a dependent variable a uh, function like this y is equal to fx these are called the univariate functions they depend only on one variable univariate functions while if you have the function such as y is equal to f x z or something so it since this y depends on two variables it becomes multivariate function later in the course we'll be talking about univariate calculus and multivariate calculus also so let's talk about function a little more let's get deeper into the definition here so a function is uh, so how, how do you write this an equation will be a function will be a function if for any z or any x in the domain the equation will yield only single value will yield only one value of y only one value of y so let's take up two examples here one is y is equal to x square another is y square equals to x okay and uh, and say function is defined from r to r that is domain of the function is r and range of the function is also r so i i can pick up any function sorry i can i can pick up any real number in domain uh, say if x is equal to say minus 2 and x is equal to 2 i can pick up these numbers in this case y would become equal to 4 and here also y would become equal to 4 so you pick up any number in the domain you have just one value of y and that's what the definition is the definition is that an equation will be a function if for any x in the domain I have picked up two x's here minus 2 and 2 the equation will yield only one value of y so it has only one value here so it is a function yes it's a function this becomes a function now supposedly if you have the function y square equals to x now supposedly if I pick up the fun I pick up the real number x is equal to 4 x is equal to 4 and uh, from which is in the domain of this function okay it is defined from r to r and x is equal to 4 and the y could take the value plus and minus 2 now this is not a function okay because it is not giving me a single value of y for a given value of x okay so this doesn't become a function this is not a function this is not a function okay in the next recording we'll be talking about one to one function and on to functions